Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. I started out today's card with a panel of Bristol Smooth Paper and I'm going to be blending on that with a few different colors of Distress Oxide ink. I chose the colors Wilted Violet, Abandoned Coral, and Worn Lipstick. For this initial blending, I made sure to blend really lightly. I didn't want to press down very hard, I wanted to use a very gentle touch. I can't seem to get away from that abandoned coral color lately. I think I've used it on a lot of cards recently. It's just my favorite color right now. I even painted my nails to kind of match it because I just love it right now. My overall favorite color is probably gray, but then I'll kind of go through phases with other colors where I really, really like them for a little while and then I'll move on to another one. So right now my current favorite color in that phase kind of thing is the abandoned coral color. Okay, so after I finished that first layer of light blending, I picked out this stencil from Brutus Monroe's Stencil of the Month Club and I placed it over the top of the blending and taped it down. I then blended over the top of that stencil with the same exact colors, but this time I'm blending at my usual pressure, so these colors are going to be a little bit darker. Next I took an A2 size piece of Nina Solar White and I die cut a circle out of the top of it. I went around that circle with my ATG gun and then I placed a piece of acetate on top of that to create my shaker window. And as you can see, I didn't cut that acetate to be the right size before placing it, but that's okay because I knew that I could just cut the excess off with some scissors. In order to create my shaker area, I took a long piece of foam tape and folded it in half so that it was twice as thick. I then used some scissors to cut it in half all the way down the middle so that I had two thin, long pieces of foam tape, and then I used those to create my shaker area by wrapping them around my window. One tip for creating shaker cards, if your shaker window has any kind of curve to it, make sure you pull off both sides of your backing on your foam tape, and then it will curve a lot easier around that shape. For my shaker mix, I used this really large clear glitter, and then I also found these tiny little heart sequins, which are like a coral color, so they were kind of perfect for this card. So I placed those sequins right in the middle of my blended area, and then I took my shaker window and popped it up on top of that, and then I cut off the excess paper around the back. Next I used a heart punch to cut a heart out of a piece of white glitter stock from Brutus Monroe. I used my Gina K Connect glue in order to adhere that heart to the middle of my shaker window. And if you don't have a heart punch, you could very easily use any heart die that you have. For the sentiment, I picked out a stamp from the Love Bug stamp set from Brutus Monroe, and this stamp says, We are the perfect pair. I stamped that onto some Basil Licorice Twist cardstock with some embossing ink, and then I embossed it with Alabaster White Embossing Powder. I cut that sentiment down to a little strip, added some foam tape to the back, and then popped it up right on top of that heart. I'm not sure how, but I did lose a little bit of footage from this video, so you missed me actually stamping that sentiment, but I've done it many times, so I figure you've probably seen it before. To finish up this card, I first adhered it to a white card base made out of Nina Solar White cardstock, and then I added some sequins. These sequins come from the Party Time Sequins Mix from Simon Says Stamp, and I just went through that and picked out a few different sizes of the coral colored sequins, and I placed them around my sentiment and then glued them down using Gina K Connect glue. The last thing that I did to finish up the card is I took my glossy accents and I filled in all of those sequins to give them some interesting dimension. Here's a closer look at the finished card. You can see all of those really glittery sequins inside the shaker. I really love how much sparkle this card has. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed this shaker card design. All of the supplies that I used to make this card can be found in the description down below. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed watching today, I would recommend that you hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of my future cards. I'm going to be back with a new video on Friday. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a good day today.